Hi everyone, it's Ruth from Viva Val Toro and I am here with a long-awaited updated post um, about my favorite flats, Teaks by Gabrielli. Now I did a post about five years ago or so about my favorite ballet flats, Teaks, and I showed all of the Teaks that I had and I did a lot of side-by-side -side color comparisons and it was a very popular post at the time and it's still one of my best rated blog posts to date. But since then, my collection has grown pretty significantly. I have most of the uh, currently available pairs of teaks and then some that have been discontinued or were limited edition. So I wanted to take a moment today to show you all of the teaks and do new updated side-by-side -side, um, videos for you so that you can kind of see which pair would be right for you. Now I'm sitting here uh, in my bedroom floor because I have a lot of teaks and they're spread out all around me so this was the only way I could kind of do it to where I could easily access all of the shoes for you rather than them being out on the counter. So the light is kind of going in and out so I do have a ring light set up but it is as natural light as I can get it to give you really accurate uh, pictures of what these shoes look like in the different colors. So without further Further ado, I'm going to show you all of the teaks. I'm going to start the blacks, go through browns, and then go through all of the colors. So, first up is matte black. So these are a full grown, uh, full grain leather. They um, are uh, one of my most comfortable pairs. I wear them all the time. So here they are next to obsidian black, and you can see obsidian black is a patterned um, patent leather. And they are, again, also one of my most comfortable pairs of teaks to date. So next up, we have Arabian Night. Now this pair is not offered anymore. These um, have been retired. I do have a whole post about retired teaks that I can link to you so you can kind of see what you might have missed in the past. So these were graded um, different letters based on how much uh, purples and greens that they had in them, and I have a beautiful pair, um, as you can see here. This pair here is one of the vegans. This is um, Greystone. These are vegan leather, so not only um, their fabric teaks, but also the inside is a vegan leather and the um, backside that is made of vegan leather as well. Next up is Nude Lace. So these are super pretty. Um, I wear these mainly uh, for more like formal occasions or to dress up um, kind of business casual outfits. This is Drago. This was re released um, a few years ago in honor of uh, Games of Throne. They are super pretty. And then just recently, I'm gonna show you them next to Ember because they are a more recent introduction, I think in 2022. They are a brown, um, a metallic brown. And I'll show you those again in a little bit. Next up is uh, Slate Gray Croc. I love all of um, these Croc prints. I think they are so comfortable. They're patent leather, they're easy to keep clean. And I'm gonna show you these next to Metallic Silver. Okay. Oh, sorry, not metallic silver, metallic pewter. My mistake. Metallic pewter. Uh, I'll show you metallic pewter next to silver screen. Silver screen is part of the like old Hollywood collection. There's um, a few pairs of those, which I'll show you in a little bit, but you can see that silver screen is definitely much more silver, uh, much more metallic, lighter colors, more, I guess, tinfoilish, if you will, but I love them. Next, I'm going to show you Magic. This was a special edition release that are no longer available. They are very reminiscent of Tuscany, in case um, you're familiar with those. Those have since been retired. I'll show you those real quick. So these are Tuscany, which is a rainbow-colored, um, hand-painted little um, dots all over. They are super cute. So Magic is more of a metallic take on those, and they are gorgeous. Next up is Seafield Check. This was a special limited edition release for Teaks Anonymous members only. If you're not familiar with Teaks Anonymous, it is a Facebook group that is run by the Teaks brand, um, and you get a lot of insider tips, so, um, just a lot of fan chat, um, tips on how to take care of them, and all of that. 
So these are another fabric rendition. And this is Black Leopard. These were the Black Friday release for 2022. So they were only available for Black Friday uh, weekend. If you're not familiar with Teak's Black Friday, um, I've got a whole post that I can link you to about that so you can um, get ready for upcoming years. Next up is Silver Lake. These are part of the vegan collection. So they are fabric with vegan leather um, insoles and outsoles. Then we have um, Cool Gray. So you can see this has a more of a blue undertone, definitely um, a gray, um, full grain leather. They're beautiful. I'll show you them next to Feather Gray. You can see Feather Gray has, um, is a top grain leather. It's a little shinier, and it's definitely got more brown undertones um, compared uh, to Cool Gray. Then I will show you, this is Cream. And then this is cream next to Feather Gray. So kind of similar, but you can see cream has the white insole um, that only a few pairs have. That's next to Feather Gray. Next, I'm going to show you Diamond White Croc. Again, with the white insole, um, these are super popular with um, brides and for formal occasions. Um, really great set of summer shoes. This is Rose Garden. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, White Rose, not Rose Garden. Speaking of Rose Garden, this is Rose Garden next to White Rose. These are fabric, um, again, with the white, ins the white leather insoles. Um, I'm not sure if these are, I think they're still on the website. I'm not sure how much longer they're going to be. Um, so they went away for a little bit and then came back and people were really into it. So um, keep an eye out on the website for those. This is Tuscany, which we already talked about when we talked about magic. These are Desert Croc. These are no longer in um, being made. They are a retired color. There's also another um, one that's very similar to this that's called Alpine Croc, um, but they um, are also retired. And I have both of those featured in my blog post about retired teaks. Next, this is Copperhead Snake. Um, lots of uh, dark browns, um, coppers, golds, and I'll show you them next to Sand Snake. So a lot lighter, really pretty and shimmery. Then we have Azure Snake, which is blues and teals and golds. Then Lavender Snake, super duper pretty. And then one of my personal favorites, Electric Snake. And this is the pair that I featured in my Teaks review. Um, also one of my most popular posts um, that gets uh, a lot of traction. If you are wondering what is in like a Teaks box, um, you wanna see what the full Teaks experience is, I'll link that post to you here so that you can see it um, in all of its glory. Okay, so next we're going to move on to the browns. This is Sienna Brown Croc. Super pretty. I'll show you it next to Ember, which we talked about. Okay, so you can kind of see um, this is patent leather. This is not, but it has that, um, that snake print. This is Chocolate Brown. Super duper comfortable. This is them next to Ember. And this is Chocolate Brown next to Raspberry Truffle. Raspberry Truffle was another Black Friday release, so not available anymore. Um, if you um, really, really want a pair that's been discontinued, you'll have to find it on the secondary market. Um, this is Tortoise Shell. I have a whole dedicated post about these and how I style them. I'm going to show you them next to Leopard. I have another post about Leopard and how to style those and how they are one of my favorite neutrals. I wear Leopard all the time, as you can kind of see uh, on the insoles. That's them next to each other. Next, I'll show you Mojave. I've got a post dedicated to these. Um, the sizing is a little bit different on this pair. This is another um, fabric pair, but not part of the vegan collection. And they run a little bit small, in my opinion. This 
is Brentwood. This is part of the vegan collection. And again, some people say that these run a little bit small. Uh, this pair actually fits me in my regular size nine, um, but some people prefer to size up. This is Calouflage. This is Teak's take on uh, California Camouflage. Super pretty, it's got threads of gold. Um, these uh, do fit pretty normal to me. Um, I got a size nine and they're a little snug, but definitely wearable. Next pair is Chestnut. Very, very comfortable neutral. I'm gonna show you these next to Camel. Camel's a little bit lighter of a brown. It's got more yellow undertones. Then um, this is taupe. So I'll show you taupe next to chestnut and next to camel, just in case. Um, taupe has more of a grayish undertone. I love them. They are a super great neutral. Okay, moving on to metallics. This is metallic bronze. Very pretty. This next to metallic gold. I wear these a lot, especially um, like if you're a Lily Pulitzer fan, metallic gold is one that you should definitely have in your repertoire. Goes with a lot of things. These are metallic champagne. These um, have been super popular. They were originally a Black Friday release um, a handful of years ago, and then they were re-released due to popular demand for um, New Year's Eve release one, one special year. Then I'll show you metallic gold next to golden glitz. This is part of the old Hollywood glam collection. Love these. I just, I love the way that they, the crackled finish on them. They're not as delicate as you might think that they would be. Um, they are pretty durable. Now next we're moving on to the Struck collection. So these are Star Struck. They are crackled. Um, leather, these are a little more def uh, delicate. So if you're tough on your shoes, you just need to have a little bit more care and caution with these because this finish could come off if you do a deep scuff. This is, um, sorry, <laughs> starstruck next to love struck. Man, there's a lot of these. Okay, so you should, uh, love struck, you can see has more rose gold undertones and not so much yellows. Here is Love Struck next to Love Potion. Love Potion was a limited release for Halloween a couple of years ago. So you can see the difference there. And then this is Moonstruck, which has more blue, again with that iridescent crackly finish. This is Rose Gold Glam. Part of the old Hollywood collection, again with that crackled finish, but very, very durable um, finish on these. This is Wild Copper. Now there's a couple different ones in this collection as well that I don't have, including uh, Romantic Blush and Paradise Blue. They are that printed snake print. I don't have those um, at the moment, but you can see these are Wild Copper. All right, so now we're going to move on to greens. So this is Emerald Green part of the jewel tone, like royal collection, if you will. Super beautiful, patent leather. This is them next to Clover Green. Clover Green is a top grain leather. Really pretty, one of my first pairs um, and most loved. I love that color. Then this is Mint. So these are patent leather, lighter color, great pastel for spring. This is Tahitian Pearl. This was another Black Friday release, so not available any longer. And I'm going to show you this next to Pacific Green. Pacific Green is not available any longer either. I don't know if it's been officially retired or it's just not on the website right now. But you can see this has more of a uh, metallic finish, and this is more of a flat. So this is Olive Green, great earth tone, super pretty. I'll show you this next to Clover in case anybody is interested in seeing those side by side. This is part of the neon collection. These are galactic green. So neon, think green highlighter. They're really hard to video and photograph just because of the neon nature. So think of a green highlighter. And this is unmellow yellow, also part of the neon collection. So you can see those side by side. And I'll show you the other neons just while I'm here. This is pop pink. 
This is infrared. And I actually need to run and grab another pair. I'm missing my ultraviolet, so I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back, and this is ultraviolet. So sorry about that. So galactic green, unmellow yellow, pop pink, infrared, and outrageous orange, which I think I forgot to show you a minute ago. So those are all the neons, but I'm gonna hit on some of those again in a minute. Okay, so now yellow, this is mustard yellow. I love this pair. If you're a school teacher, these are a must. Think number two pencil. These are Echo Park. This is part of the vegan collection. Again, these run a little snug. You might want to size up. And I'll show you these next to Sunset Stripe, which is another vegan. I have a whole post about these and the vegan collection and, and how they run size-wise, so um, I will try to link that to you as well. Okay, moving on to the blues. So I'm going to show you first, I'm going to show you Teak Blue. So this is Teak's signature color, Teak Blue. You can see matches the back. Patent leather. Next is Sapphire. This is another jewel tone. Beautiful. I have a post dedicated to these if you want more pictures of these. I'll show you these next to Cobalt. Cobalt is a top grain leather, so a little shinier, but not as shiny as patent leather. Great royal blue. Next is navy, California navy. These are super dark, uh, but definitely navy in the sunlight. It's kind of hard to tell here, but um, I have uh, left the house with one navy and one black flat on, so <laughs> be careful with that. And then these are midnight navy, which has a metallic finish, and these were a Black Friday release a couple years ago, so no longer available. And last uh, for the blues is Heritage Plaid. These are another fabric. And I have a whole post dedicated to these too if you um, want more photos of these. Okay, moving on to purples and pinks and reds and oranges. Okay, this is uh, Lilac, which is a pretty deep purple. Uh, this is Tyrion, which is one of the first... Uh, velvet renditions from Teaks, and these are beautiful, super deep, gorgeous color. And this is fuchsia. This is actually my second pair of fuchsia. I wore my first pair out pretty much, um, and I love these. They uh, go with a lot, so there's the three of those together. This is Razzleberry. Um, these were released around the same time as Cotton Candy, and there's actually, uh, these are available in Little Miss Teaks as well, if you're interested in matching your little lady. And I'll show you Razzleberry next to Fuchsia. Next, Pop Pink. Neon Pink, again, hard to photograph, but think of a pink highlighter. Next to Ultraviolet, which is Neon Purple. Then this is Cotton Candy, which is a baby soft pink patent leather, very similar to Ballerina Pink, which is a flat classic leather. That's a full grain, really, really pretty. Really good neutral. And then this is Rosé, which is a part of the Metallic Collection, and it is really uh, pretty um, pink and goldish hues. These are Aquarella. The fun story about these are these were actually made as like a one-of-a-kind pair several years ago for a contest and then they were so popular and um, people wanted to see more of them so Teeks released them to the masses later on. Okay, now moving on to reds and oranges. This is Rouge. These are Teeks' first suede pair and I have a whole post dedicated to these and suede care tips if you care uh, to read that. This is True Love Red, very popular shoe. These were a Valentine release a couple of years ago, so no longer available, but definitely a very true, true, like scarlet red compared to Cardinal Red, which is a lot deeper um, of, of a red tone. This is actually my second pair of Cardinal Red too. That, Cardinal Red was my very first pair, I think in 2015, 2016. 
These are Red Diamond. These were in, um, a Black Friday release. One of the first Black Friday releases, I think. Um, and so really popular and beautiful shoe. And here they are next to Cardinal Red and True Love Red. And then this is Ruby Red. A metallic, I mean, sorry, a patent leather, but it is um, a lot deeper. Here it is next to Cardinal Red, so you can kind of get an idea there. And next to True Love Red, so you can see that this, I'm not sorry, Red Diamond, sorry. My mind's all over the place. So this is next to Red Diamond, next to Ruby Red. And then this is Ruby Red Croc. These have been discontinued, but just in case anybody wants to see those, because some people really like to see older pairs of discontinued colors. And these are burgundy. And I'll show you burgundy next to cardinal red, just to kind of give you an image there. And next to ruby red. So you can see they're kind of similar-ish. Okay, oranges. So this is tangerine, uh, full grain leather, great color orange. This is coral, which is a patent leather. Another great pastel. This is outrageous orange, which we talked about part of the neon collection. So there's the three of those together. Then this is peach poppy and regular poppy. Icelandic peach poppy here, regular poppy. These are only available during poppy season, which is usually springtime. And then this is infrared. So here's infrared next to outrageous orange. Hard to, really hard to video and photograph these two. And then this is peach poppy next to coral in case anybody wants to see that. And I think that that is pretty much it. So um, I have a whole blog post about this that I will link to you so you can kind of see still photos. Um, they're all uh, laid out there. It's a very photo heavy blog post, so prepare yourself. And um, I hope that this helps you pick your favorite pair of teaks. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Okay, thanks.